The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Welcome to Advent Prayer Time, a time set aside to offer our prayers for the community, for clarity, for vision, for direction, for needs and cares, knowing that others are praying with and for us at the same time. The sheer vastness of creation is astounding. In the psalm for this coming Sunday, Psalm 139, the community praises a God who accompanies humanity in the secret depths of the earth, as well as the uttermost parts of the sea. In the gospel, Jesus instructs Nathanael that he will behold the heavens, so distant and out of reach now opened. In Christ, that which seems so far away from us is brought near. God's nearness within a vast creation brings us hope. When fear about the fate of our world and community grips us, or when our courage to change our consuming ways fails us, we can turn to God, who draws near to us in spite of our weakness. Held close by a power so vast, we find the strength to care for what is right in front of us. Thank you for your prayers, and thank you for being part of a community of faith and hope and prayer. To begin our prayers, hear God's presence in the words of the psalm for this Sunday, Psalm 139 verses 1 to 6 and 13 to 18. Lord, you have searched me out. O oh, Lord, you have known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb, all of them were written in your book. My days were fashioned before they came to be. How deep I find your thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I were to count them, they would be more in number than the sand. To count them all, my lifespan would need to be like yours. Here ends our reading. We begin our prayers together with this simple prayer. Let us pray. Insistent God, stir us with your voice and enlighten our lives with your grace. Amen. We offer our prayers this evening. <laughs> 